we might take the red, the rain for granted from time to time being here from the Pacific Northwest, uh, but a world-renowned photographer decided to make a whole book of stunning photos of the rain. Yes, and joining us now to talk all about it, photographer and artist Robin Layton. Hi. Hi. Good morning. I'm so excited you're here. I'm Obviously, so to be the here. cover of your book, I've just been marveling at it. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. There's tulips in every raindrop. Look at that. So 146 stunning photos of rain, right? Correct. I hear that a uh, record rainfall in Seattle inspired this book. It oh. did. It did. Uh, last year Year, January, February, and March, it poured for like three months continuous, and I'm like, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be cool to do a book on rain? And I went out and started shooting, and there, and here we are. This is amazing, a real testament. Look, I bought a nice camera once, cannot use the thing, <laughs> so also a testament to your talent of <laughs> photography. But these are not just photos of Seattle. Talk to us about the different places. Yeah, you've been. there's ten um, places: uh, China, Alaska, Idaho, Wyoming and uh, California, Texas. Wow. I realized when I started putting the book together, I had pictures I had taken you know, in Hawaii and other places because I always have my camera with mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And so when I started looking at my, um, my portfolio, I thought, oh my gosh, these are perfect too. So that's how all the locations came together. That's really cool. So some of them you had before, and then did you have areas where you're like, that place has really great rain. I'm gonna go get some yes. amazing photos <laughs> oh. there too. Yeah, definitely. Well, Seattle. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> of course. <laughs> hmm, yeah. When you live in Seattle, you quickly learn you need to make peace with the rain. Yeah. Um, I love it, so. Yeah, that's Wonderful. awesome. Uh, you've been commissioned by celebrities, presidents, I mean royalty, to create your stunning images. Tell us about some of the work that you've done for them. Oh my gosh, well, I used to be a photojournalist for 16 years and then I went on my own uh, since 2000 and then I guess the celebrity world got wind of me and California and so I, I've done things for Jennifer Aniston, Sarah Jessica Parker, uh, Oprah, uh, Barack Obama. I mean it's been a it's been a crazy journey and I am so grateful. What does that feel home. like? Um, you know it's an honor because you realize they could hire or get you know artwork from anybody in the world yeah and when they get it from you it, it just is validating and it just feels really great yeah right. and you very casually gave us that list while I'm internally <laughs> gasping at how amazing that is and on top of that you're also a Pulitzer uh, Prize nominee so tell us a little bit oh. more about your history when I was at the Seattle PI um, I found this runaway and I followed her around for four months and the guys at work said you're never gonna get this published because the mm -hmm. PI won't do it you're never gonna get the mom to sign off on it and long story short I spent four months with her and the newspaper ran 19 pictures four pages and uh, the mom signed off on it and I was nominated for a Pulitzer so That's perseverance incredible. no kidding yeah I just got to have that tenacity oh, yeah. um, and this is one of five books that you've published right yes. this is number five that's incredible so your last one was called the lake what inspired that one that is uh, a coffee table book same size as this one limited edition there's 2,000 copies of the lake. There's only 750s of this book. But the whole book is on Lake Washington, and it's divided into four seasons. It starts with spring and ends with summer. It starts with summer and ends with spring. Mm -hmm. And I just, I live kind of right across the street from the lake, so I photographed it for over a 10-year period, and I decided one day I think it's time to do something to honor our beautiful Lake Washington. So. That's beautiful. So cool. Wow. And on top of the long list that you have of people who've bought your work, Oprah also has just uh, 24 of your pieces, so she does. talk to me about whether she commissioned them personally or how that happened. So I was at the airport and I get this phone call, hey Rob, she leaves me a message, hey Rob, will you come to Maui and photograph my dogs and horses in Maui for my new spa I'm building? And I called her back and I, I was like speechless and she's like, well, are you happy? I'm like, I am, but I would scream, but I'm at the airport, I don't want to get arrested. <laughs> so I spent a week with her on her ranch and um, she has 24 pieces in her spa out there and it was it was the best week of my life. Wow, sure. in her ranch in California? Or in Colorado? Maui. Oh, in Maui, Maui. okay. Wonderful. So cool. Yeah. Uh, and she has a nickname for you too, Rob. <laughs> I mean, that must be cool. I don't know if it's a nickname, but yeah. <laughs> um, for this book, you're only printing 750 copies, right? Yes. Talk to us about that decision. I wanted it to be special. I wanted the book to be uh, a piece of art itself and yeah. to be affordable for everyone so everybody mm -hmm. could have a piece of art. And they're not only signed by me, but they're numbered like one out of 750, 252 out of 750. Yeah. So I priced it. Um, these are 395, but I priced it so everybody feels like they're getting something special and not just have 5,000 copies of something. Yeah. Right. That's right, why right. I did it. That's really cool. Beautiful. And you, you were saying you write them a little letter. When oh, they yeah. This it. is just a little thank you note um, to show my appreciation. It's beautiful um, too. And yeah. These are limited edition postcards. They're really nice. And this is the Space Needle. It has a, 
uh, at every drop you can see the Space Needle. So wonderful. So of course uh, you are an excellent talent. Do you have any recommendations for people who are interested in photography or how they could maybe take a better photo? <laughs> You know, I think it's just practice, practice. I mean, even I, for, for this book and every book and every job I've ever done, it's about, about taking photos and then looking at them and studying them. How can I make it better? Look at your aperture. Just, just keep doing it. I mean, I'm still learning and growing after wow. how, however many years I've been doing it. So That's really cool. Tell us about some of your other books that you have. So we've talked about two of them. Tell us about the other ones. Uh, the first one I did was called A Letter to My Dog, and I had to drive, well, actually fly across America and photograph um, cele uh, celebrities with their dogs and then dogs by themselves. Oh. And then um, the second one was called Hoop the American Dream. And I had this crazy idea of driving across America and photographing basketball hoops, uh, the most unique ones I could find, literally like a treasure hunt. And then childhood hoops of famous players like LeBron James, Shaquille O'Neal, Sue Bird. And I went to their childhood hoop and they gave me stories to go with it. That was one of my best projects, best, most fun I've ever had. And then the Seahawk book was called 12. And that's mm -hmm. an impressionistic view of the Seahawk fans and uh, players. That's so incredible. It really is. Oh and gosh. I think that your history as a photojournalist, the way you tell stories, really, I mean, to go along with what is beautiful photography, helps elevate that in a way. Do you love telling stories? I do. I do. That, that's my background as a photojournalist. And it, when I was shooting for newspapers, people would always say to me, not only do you have moments, but there's, there's art to it. There's artwork mm -hmm. to it. And that was the biggest compliment because that's what I think pictures seeing is when you have a moment and there's art involved. And so for me, it was a natural way just to segue to my art so anything you can tell us about the next project you might want to work on or any ideas <laughs> yeah. that are kind of brewing up there I always have a few ideas I have a few um, artwork commissions um, I do artwork for private homes and commercial buildings so I have yeah. a really uh, some really cool unique things that I'm creating for them and I have a couple book ideas always tucked away so. okay we'll come back and see us when you've got them I would love to beautiful yeah. well Robin thank you so much and we have posted info on this beautiful book on our website fox13seattle.com slash studio 13 live thanks, thanks again so thank you so much for having me yeah amazing still ahead on studio 13 live we are learning how to shape and make the perfect